putting on airs, acting like your powers were superior to mine. Well, the party is over, sweetie. Yes, by the time I'm through with you, you're gonna wish that you were in a cave, like the one you banished me to years ago. We'll see who's got the powers now. Ready, boys? Here they come. Eve, you're a doctor. Now stop tiptoeing around and tell me the truth. Now, are they gonna make it? Say hello. Listen, don't play games with me, not now. Somebody around here better start telling me the truth about something. It doesn't look good, Sam. Grace should have regained consciousness by now. But until we get to the hospital and run some tests, there's nothing that I can say for sure. Okay. Right over here. Right. Be careful, but Harry, she's critical. Please, God, let Grace and my baby be all right. You want to know if it's true, don't you? I heard what Jillian said, but I still can't believe it. It's true, Sheridan. Ethan is Sam's son. Are you absolutely certain? Have you done blood test comparisons? Have you checked Ethan's DNA? It's not necessary. There is no test that is going to prove that Ethan is Julian's son because he isn't. I have known who Ethan's father was from the moment I got pregnant. And why did you keep it a secret? And not, not just from Julian, but from Ethan himself. And I always thought you loved him so much. I do love him. I love him more than life itself, and that's why I lied, to protect him. I don't understand. You don't? Sheridan, you of all people should. You know what your family's like. Well, mine was much the same. I was pressured into marrying Julian, and part of the bargain was that I stay married to him forever. If I had told the truth, Ethan and I would have been out in the cold, or worse. I wasn't afraid for me, but I couldn't... I couldn't bear to see Ethan hurt. Can't you see, Ivy? That's exactly what's happened. Look at him. He's devastated. He's destroyed. Everything he's ever believed in has been yanked out from under him. You couldn't have hurt him more if you tried. Forgive me, Teresa. I know he's all yours. I just... I wanted to let Ethan know how terrible I feel about everything that's going on. Thank you, Gwen. We both do. I mean, it's bad enough to have your mother lie to you about your real father, but then to have it exposed in such a publicly humiliating way. Who could have done such a thing? I have no idea. I never knew there were people in this world that hate me that much. Well, I hope you find whoever is responsible. He will. Ethan is not going to let this rest until he finds out who could have done something so despicable, so cruel. Good. To think that, that there are people who possess this earth-shattering information and, and went to a trashy newspaper instead of going to you first, it's, it's unconscionable. No, don't worry. I'll spend every day for the rest of my life finding out who did this to me. Well, thank goodness you have Teresa here to help you through. I know.
What a wonderful tag team we make, huh? Did you hear Teresa just hammering in those little nails into her own coffin? She is gonna have Ethan so worked up that he's gonna show no mercy when he finds out who's behind this. Mother, you're the one who sent the email to the tabloid. From Teresa's computer. I mean, if they ever manage to trace that email, it's gonna go right back to little Miss Guacamole. Evil's here. I felt so strongly it was here and I was right. There is evil in this room. Father! Can, can you see what happened to Charity? I'm trying, my son. All I know is we need to fight the demons from below before their evil takes over. How do we fight evil? Holy Father, we ask thy merciful protection from those who would seek to harm us. Protect those in need, both far off and close by, from those who would seek to destroy them. Timmy doesn't want to die, but we have to go. At least he's going with his princess. Oh, that is so sweet. At least somebody loves you, Tabitha. Even if it is just a stupid little doll. You dare call Timmy names. I pit his intellect against yours any time. Oh, now you've really ticked me off. You two have swilled your last Mark Timmy's. If anything happens to either one of them, I will never forgive you. Never! They hate each other and they hate me. God, what have I done? taking care of Ivy. Now it's her turn. 